The history of the Anglican Church in Sarawak began more than 175 years ago. The first white Raja of Sarawak, James Brooke, invited the church to set up its mission here. So the priest doctor Francis Thomas McDougall arrived in Sarawak in 1848, and the rest is history. In 1855, the Diocese of Labuan, which included Sarawak, was created with McDougall as the first bishop. And in 1962, the Diocese of Kuching was formed from this diocese. Meanwhile, in 1953, a center offering refresher courses for the local clergy and lay leaders was opened. After so many decades, the center, the House of Epiphany, was in bad shape and a new building was needed. So today, 6 January 2024, we witnessed a very significant event of the Anglican Church.
we celebrate and commemorate the revelation, the manifestation, some would say the incarnation of our Lord Jesus to the peoples of the earth. The 6th of January 2024, in the shape and form of our house of epiphany, being consecrated for his service and for the work of his kingdom here in our diocese of Kuching and beyond. The world reminds us of a wonderful and amazing God and Father who have provided this building to us, the diocese, through the generosity of the Sarawak state government. The government generously contributed 11.5 million ringgit for the construction of this building. Wow! It is a building that God will use to build His church in this diocese and beyond. Amen. This is the building that we are making sacred this morning. This is the agenda of the House of Epiphany to make us better Christians, healthy Christians. My prayer for the House of Epiphany is that they will be equipping and training of God's people in the world and in following the ways of the Spirit so that we in our diocese will continue to grow in God and let God be the one that leads us all. And so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To the glory of God alone and the advancement of God's kingdom, for the equipping of God's people to do His work, and the building up of the church, the body of Christ. Together, we consecrate this building. Amen. So in the faith of Christ Jesus, we send to the elders in the Jerusalem. We bless this building in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
come here with and receive the body of the Lord Jesus Christ to give for you and his blood, which is shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance of Christ's blood for you and believe in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Fullness. 